endocrine, endocrine system. system and uh, first thing that you have to know is that the endocrine system with all the other systems in the body play an important role in homeostasis and that's maintaining a constant internal environment and know the definition yeah and unfortunately we don't have time to talk about all the hormones mm -hmm. in your body because they're very interesting um, but what we are going to concentrate today is the negative feedback system and the negative feedback system, there are many, but we're doing it with relation to the endocrine system. It's a mechanism that operates to detect changes and imbalances in this internal environment and then to restore the balance. Now, what is an exocrine and an endocrine gland? Well, there you can see exocrine glands. Know an example, for instance, your salivary glands in your mouth. There it secretes the substance that is secreted will be secreted into your mouth and will go down the esophagus and which means that it goes into a special duct. Whereas an endocrine system, you can see that whatever is secreted is secreted directly yeah. into endocrine the bloodstream. Endocrine glands secrete hormones into the bloodstream. Right, there are many endocrine glands. You have to know them. Go and have a look in your textbook. You have to know the name of the hormone the gland that secretes the hormone, the function of the hormone, and what happens when you have too much or too little. Yeah, many books will refer to it as yeah. an over-secretion and an under-secretion. Under there you've got another picture. This is just growth hormone and under-secretion causes dwarfism, over-secretion, gigantism. And uh, this is where we want to get to. Colin. Yeah, um, if they have maybe have seen last year's paper two, they would have seen mm. that this was part of paper two, and it was a a um, long. It was an essay question, mm. fifteen marks on um, the negative feedback of to re of the regulation of the blood sugar level. So what happens when the blood sugar level is too high? You see, it's a high blood sugar level. Let's take this as our starting point. Mm. That will, of course. Um, stimulate certain cells within the pancreas to produce or secrete more insulin. And the insulin has a very important function and that is to lower that high blood sugar level. And how does it do it? It is to um, take it or convert it into glycogen and the glycogen is then stored within the liver cells and in the muscle cells, right? There you can see within the liver, this glucose is converted. So the yellow is an indication of when the blood sugar level is too high. And so, now it's lower. Too. Yes, and now when it becomes too low, and it, it, your body uses up sugar all the time. So what happens when it is too low? Then, of course, these stored, the liver and the, remember we said, the glucose is now stored in the form of glycogen in the liver and the muscle cells. So these, this glycogen must be converted back into glucose. You see, glycogen back into glucose and it raises the blood sugar level. Yes, and what makes sure that glycogen is turned back into oh, glucose? The hormone, hormone glucagon. So when we talk about negative feedback with the sugar level, it's about the pancreas secreting its two hormones glucagon and insulin. Insulin is secreted when there's a high blood sugar level. When the blood sugar level drops, insulin secretion is stopped. Mm. When the blood sugar level drops too low, glucagon secretion is stimulated to let the blood sugar rise again. And then when it's too high again, the whole thing starts all over again. Um, so please go and make sure. It's such a pity because yeah. we can actually spend a whole session but let's just the, on the this. But let's see the next slide. Just the next slide. Yeah. Just, let's, let's just um, uh, ask them to give, us, to give us the, the answer. We don't have the time really, Colin, but let's quickly go through this. Okay. Here we have the pancreas. We only have a few minutes, but let's quickly yeah. see. So when the gl uh, glucose level increases, it must be lowered. So insulin is secreted. Okay. The liver and muscles, what happens? Glucose is converted into glycogen. The glucose level will decrease and the glucose level will become normal again. But what happens if the glucose, um, if, the, if it is um, too low, it decreases? Then what will be released? The pancreas le release glucagon. That's the hormone. And then the liver and muscles um, convert the glycogen back into glucose. 
the glucose level increase and it is normal again. There you can see that the concentration of the glucose actually controls the concentration yeah. of the glucose. Sorry with that we didn't ask you the question yeah, there it's, and um, it's, it's about it, time. Yeah, it's so uh, that sorry. That we don't have. 